Minister of Essence have the contract with International Seabed Authority for the hydrothermal sulphide deposits in southern Indian Ocean, which is called Central Indian Ridge and Southwest Indian Ridge. These two ridges are almost uh, three days travel from Mauritius uh, port actually speaking, uh, which is almost around 3000 meter to 4500 meter depth all these are. These are all ridges which are formed by the plate tectonics movement. So, these hydrothermal deposits are formed by water which is in the sea water going into the cracks and getting heated up because of the magmatic process and comes up to the uh, surface near to the sea floor then pumping as a uh, hydrothermal smokers. So, which brings out all the metal concentration of the copper, nickel, cobalt like that in sulphide form and it will get deposited near to the chimney which is of almost 1 meter or less than that height. And if the diameter is very, very small, it is like uh, finding a small needle in a haystack like that situation. So, because 4000 meter depth is very deep, so we have to use initially with the ship based technique to get a signature of the ridges. Then afterwards we have to go with the finer details with the other set of vehicles. Since uh, NIOT has realized autonomous underwater vehicle for 6000 meter for different mineral exploration, already we could able to undergo uh, explorations for polymetallic nodules and hydrates. Now we had executed the exploration trial in collaboration with National Centre for Polar and Ocean Research. So Dr. N. R. Ramesh has coordinated that executed as a chief scientist during the expedition. So he could able to locate a chimney for a first time by Indian scientist at the site which will be a major breakthrough and along with that uh, chimney there are some live organisms also we could able to photograph by the images. So now, now as I told that this is a 10,000 square kilometer area in allocated by seabed authority. Now we have to explore further areas to identify these type of chimneys to understand the deposits spatial distribution. After that we have to do the sampling there by different type of dredging and sampling technique then analyze the samples for the concentration of the different metals. Once we understand the metal content and concentration then suitable technology to be developed after the exploration phase get completed. Thus it will have a both one is mineral deposits and also associated fauna. So both have to be understood bef before we go for the exploitation phase. So that will take longer than the exploration phase. So right now we are in the exploration phase or it will continue for another 5 to 6 years to understand that area well and lot of exploration activity is been taken up by NCP or Goa. Under India's deep ocean mission program, this uh, polymetallic sulphates exploration and exploration exploration and exploitation is also a part of the deep ocean mission program. So, under this program, uh, the activity of exploration in the area allotted by International Seabed Authority to Government of India, it is in the southwest ridge and central Indian ridge of the uh, southern Indian Ocean where we have to explore and we can explore and exploit the minerals, polymetallic sulphides, we, uh, minerals available in the sulphide form. So, for this initially the bathymetry was conducted by our N, uh, National Centre for Ocean and Polar Research NCPO or Goa uh, using some other uh, vessels and then the bathymetry was available and we have conducted the close bed uh, bathymetry along with the uh, uh, imaging of the uh, resources available there, both living and non-living resources. The, the, the non-living resources is in the form of uh, sulphides which will come from the uh, hydrothermal vents. The hydrothermal vents are like uh, chimneys which occur, uh, it is like uh, springs in the sea, bo sea bottom. So, it comes from the, the uh, sea water seeping through the uh, chimneys, it will carry the minerals and it will solidify and then it will uh, form the uh, sulphides of various minerals like nickel, cobalt, manganese and sometimes gold and silver also. Uh, can you challenge in the operations? Yeah, this was uh, the operation was carried out on board Sagar Nidhi which was uh, which is our flagship of uh, government of India and uh, using the autonomous underwater vehicle Ocean Mineral Explorer 6000. So, this autonomous underwater vehicle is capable of going up to the depth of 6000 meters underwater and doing the uh, close bed surveys and photography. Using this vehicle, the vehicle was launched from the uh, Sagar Nidhi in the southwest Indian ridge and central Indian ridge <coughs> and then the close bed uh, topography was captured using the uh, multi beam echo sounder, side scan sonar and other things 
and then we went close bed imagery was carried out using the high definition camera in the vehicle at a height of 5 meter to 10 meters from the seabed which was really challenging considering the uh, rough and rugged terrain of the uh, which was available on the seabed. Thank you.